morning to you. Good morning to you. Everything good? Okay, 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 okay. I get a little, little bit of feedback. Somebody need to help me out this morning. Okay. There we go. Okay, okay. I heard some feedback. I heard the station playing back to me. All right. Good morning to you. Happy holiday seasons unto you. God bless you this morning. We're definitely going to give you some good word. Got some word coming from Pastor A. Pastor A Ministries on K Praise. K Praise on KWJAZ Internet Radio. We're nonstop worldwide. And we give you more. Yes, we do. And um, I'm so thankful to be up in here this morning. Oh, yes, I am. It's a little bit chipper outside this morning here in Southern California. But I'm sure it's going to warm up and it's going to be an excellent day. Yes, it is. So let's start off by giving praise unto God. All right? Let's give him praise. Let's give it up, y'all. Yeah. Let's give praise. If it wasn't for him, I don't think any of of this would be possible. All right. All right. Your brother Timoteo in the easy. I'm going to be holding it down for just a moment. I'm going to mention it again. We're going to start the, ser the uh, service off with uh, Pastor A. He's talking about love, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you don't know about love, you don't know nothing. I'm going to say it just like that. If you don't know anything about love, then you don't know nothing. I'm telling you, it's got to be about the love, all right? That's what it's all about, love, L-O-V-E, love, all right? Pastor Ray is going to be giving that sermon, and we're going to start that off first. And uh, brother, brother King James is going to be giving our k Praise show this morning on KWJAZ. That's brother King James. He's going to be bringing you the k Praise show this morning on KWJAZ. Call up your friends. Text them, Instagram them, Facebook them, Snapchat them, tweet them. Do all that you can do, that you must do, so that they can hear a good word from the Lord. All right? Once again, happy, happy holiday seasons unto you. And let's give praise. Let's give praise, y'all. Okay? I'm excited this morning because um, I'm thankful. I'm really, really, really thankful. I know the reasons for the season. And um, I'm thankful for that. Yes, I am. Wow. Okay. We're going to get it get it going on. I'm just waiting for a little bit longer. I told some people to um, tune in. And I asked some people to tune in this morning. And i um, just going to give them some time to get situated. And uh, we're going to start the show off. All right. I promised you that... Um, we do this every Sunday morning, so um, it's no it's no challenge for you to not to remember that. All right, remember that. That's not a challenge. Just do it. All right. All right. I'm going to finish setting up some things real quick. Make sure everything is set up, and um, we're going to start to get this uh, praise on. Yeah, I love the K Praise Show. <laughs> It's excellent. It's awesome. I thank God for it. All right. All right. Okay. Let's bring up that, uh, let's bring up that, uh, that song. Can we bring that up real quick? Can we bring it up? What is it? Oh, that's Tonex. Yeah, bring up Tonex. I'm going to get that. Yeah. Let's bring up Tonex. You know, uh, I love when God uh, makes me over, and uh, he'll do the same for you, all right? All right, okay? All right, we're going we're gonna to get into it. K-Praise on KWJAZ. Once again, Pastor A is going to start the show off with a sermon, and um, DJ, uh, DJ King James, brother King James, is going to give us our K-Praise show this morning, all right? All right. Pray for your friends. Hopefully they tuned in. All 
right? Great, great internet radio station that we have here. And we're doing it all over the world. And we love it. Yes, we do. We thank God for it. All right? Let's get into it. K-P-R-A-I-S-C. K-Praise on K-W-J-A-Z. All right? You got it? Pastor A is going to be giving us our sermon. And Brother King James is going to give us our K-Praise show. And uh, we're going to have uh, Bishop Noel, Noel Jones, too. He's going to be giving a sermon as well. All right? We got it all ready for you. And I'm sure that uh, you're going to get a word from God this morning. Happy holidays to you. God bless you. And I'll check you when I check you. God bless you. Please be safe. Let's get it in. K-P-R-A-I-S-E. K-Praise on K-W-J-A-Z. Come on. Let's do it. <laughs> I love it, man. Does anybody want the Lord to make a moment? Just begin to celebrate Jesus for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Saints of God, believers, everybody worldwide listeners, we thank God for your life right now. I'm your big brother, Pastor Arthur. You can call me Pastor A. Hallelujah. Represent Arthur Morris Ministries. You know how we get down. We love you. We thank God for you. First, we're going to give honor to the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We honor them as a whole. We love you, Father. We love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for this gift of life, and we salute and honor you. Hallelujah. Next, I love to honor KWJZ. Hallelujah. The K Praise Show. We thank God for this beautiful opportunity. We salute you guys. Next, I love to honor my beautiful covering, my spiritual covering. Hallelujah. My spiritual parents. We call them the generals. Hallelujah. General Andrew and General April Mitchell Smith, hallelujah. They are the lead pastors at Kingdom Centers International Worldwide. And I thank God for their beautiful life. And I salute and honor them. Next, I love to honor my beautiful wife, my good thing. Hallelujah. Pastor Shatavia Morris. I thank God for the woman of God. That's a good woman. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. And I thank God for my good thing. And I salute and honor her. And last and not least, the beautiful listeners out there. We love you. We thank God for your listening ears. We just love you. On this beautiful day, or wherever you are worldwide, we thank God for your life. Hallelujah. And we honor and we salute you. Now, we should just start off with prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, thank you for this beautiful moment in time. Thank you for your fresh anointing that's upon my head right now, upon my, my temple right now, Father God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for speaking through me. Allow me to hear Everything that you want me to hear right now in your people, allow us to hear your voice so clearly right now. That is so clear is pinpoint accuracy. Hallelujah. Straight to our hearts, straight to our minds. Hallelujah. Allow us to hear you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Your blood upon this sermon, your blood upon our temples right now. Thank you for loosening your power from heaven. Thank you for your powerful anointing right now. Hallelujah. Through your precious Holy Spirit, that this work be a mighty work unto you. Hallelujah. Bless the, the listeners and the hearers and the doers of your mighty word that's coming forward. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. This is a beautiful opportunity as always. I never take it for granted. God's people, listeners, we love you so very much here at Arthur Morris Ministries. I'm telling you, this is a dream come true to belay God's beautiful gospel. Hallelujah. His authentic word, because without his word, I'm telling you, this life is, is a jungle. Hallelujah. This life is just so unpredictable sometimes. But through the word of God, we have hope. But through the word of God, we got faith. Hallelujah. But through the word of God, we got love. Hallelujah. So with that goodness said, we're going to just jump right into God's beautiful word right now. Hallelujah. No matter where you are from, nationality, ethnicity or gender, we all bleed red. And for those who are in the body of Christ should have this mentality when it comes to the blood of the Messiah, Jesus. All that truly believe that Jesus Christ is the son of almighty God. 
who died and rose on the third day. We all are family now. Hallelujah. I say again, we are all family now. For the believer, we all have the same blood running through our veins. And this is the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is time out for all the division, the hate and the jealousy amongst each other. Hallelujah. It's time for more love, more hugs and more compassion for one another. The Bible says in the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 13, greater love had no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends as a son and an heir of the most high God. The only thing that you really want your name attached to is love. Hallelujah. In John, first John, hallelujah, four and eight make clear to us, whoever does not love does not know God. Because God is love. So what I'm trying to convey over to you by the precious Holy Spirit is this, saints, listeners, anybody that's listening right now. Hallelujah. If you don't have love, I repeat, if you don't have love, you really don't have anything. I say again, if you really don't have love. You really don't have anything. Hallelujah. And I'm not going to be before you long. Hallelujah. Because this is a beautiful topic and I can push it. Hallelujah. But because of the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. It's going to hit you where you need it to be hit at right now. It's going to meet you exactly where you need to be met at. I can guarantee you because this is the word from the Lord. Hallelujah. And it's so vital and it's so crucial that we understand this worldwide. Hallelujah. Coming from the beautiful book of John, chapter three, verse 16. I say again, the beautiful book of John, chapter three, verse 16. And this is one of our go to beautiful verses that a lot of us know. Hallelujah. A lot of unbelievers, they don't even they 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 don't understand this verse, but they heard of this verse. Hallelujah. And the beautiful word of God reads, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I say again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Beautiful. John 3, 16, the gospel of John. Hallelujah. A lot of us quote this verse. We take it for granted. But what we see right now, when we turn on CNN, when we look at the current state of our world, where we live at, we looking at something that's off a movie right now. We heard about it. We read about it when we was in school, about the different wars, about how stuff was bad with racism. Look, this is the word of God. God gave his best in his love. It starts with God and it starts with his love. We honestly can all look at each other and know that it's a lack of love. This is what God Almighty is conveying over to his people right now. If you do not have love, if you don't have God, because God is love, if you don't have his type of love inside of you, you do not have nothing. You have death. You have pain. You have no eternity with him. You have an eternity that's lost, separated from God. That's all into this verse. That's the revelation, knowledge behind the scripture. God has gave his best. Please receive the best that he has for you. And that's Jesus Christ, the Messiah. He gave his best, his only begotten son, so we can actually live forever, eternally with him. Everlasting life. The kicks parts is this. For the non-believers out there or people that you may have encountered in your life, they like, you know what? Guess what? I don't give a care. You got a no care mentality. Guess what? Guess what? You're going to live forever. But guess what? Where are you going to spend eternity? Where are you going to live at forever? You're not going to be everlasting in the presence of the Messiah, Jesus, in the, in the holy presence of the heavenly father, in the presence of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You're not going to be in the presence of the Trinity. You're not going to be in the presence of the Holy Brethren. 
You're not going to make it home where the streets of gold. You're not going to heaven. That's all into what this is saying. It's more than what just the Bible says that the letter kill it, but the spirit brings life. It's just more than just reading words off a page. It's deeper than that. It's God's conveying his love to you. He gave his best. The world we can see. I just said it. The Holy Spirit had me say it. Just look at CNN. Look at the current state of our world. Look at the current state. It's a lack of love. There's no love there. It's violence. It's killing. But that's what the word has said. This is not new. It has been going on. As like I said, we can go look at history and go backtrack the wars, the racism. But this is what God is conveying to you. Where is your love? If you don't have the love of God, you have nothing. You have to have peace. Hallelujah. You have to have hope. You have to have love inside of you or you do not have nothing. You're here in vain. You don't want to live this life in vain. Why are you here? You're here. One of just the specific reasons out of everything. One specific thing that you have to place inside of you is you are here to convey God love to his people. You are here to show the love of God. We already went over this in the first beginning of the intro. You have to, hallelujah, know that God is love. You have to know who your maker is. Your maker is love. Hallelujah. God is love. He's the epitome of love. Hallelujah. But without him, separated from him, you do not have anything. Do not get it twisted in your mind thinking that you're going to find a better love than God. You can't. The world can't give it to you. The world, Satan can't give it to you. The enemy, I don't give a care. You can't get this love that you are seeking from, from material things. You can't get it from dirt. These things that rust. Our relationship with our God. He is the foundation. He is the creator of all these things that are created. Hallelujah. So, with that said, God's people, listeners, people that's listening in worldwide. Look at yourself in the mirror. It's all about love at the end of the day. Knowing that God loves you. <laughs> and you loving God and his people. So let's get further in depth. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse two. Hallelujah. And this is Paul, the apostle speaking in rightness. Hallelujah. I thank God for this man of God. Hallelujah. I'll say again, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 2. Hallelujah. And though I have the gift of prophecy, and I understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but I have not love, I am nothing. Oh, my God. I am nothing. But I have not love. I am nothing. See what I'm saying? It's all in scripture. It's all inside of you. It's all inside of you. Morally is inside of you. We all know it's wrong to kill stuff that we know we can't create back. What I mean by that is actually taking a, a human's life. That's what I'm speaking about. Stuff that we know that's morally wrong. You know not to do these things. But God is speaking about he's conveying to you in love. To love one another. It's no greater love that you can actually lay your life down. Jesus the Messiah was the perfect example. You can have all the gifts. You can have all the talent. You can have all the money. You can have all these material things. And it means nothing. Absolutely nothing. If you don't have God's love inside of you. If you're not conveying God's love. It goes in this order. Hallelujah. Loving God. Hallelujah. Because it's a trickle effect. And we're going to speak about it. Loving God. 
loving others, putting others before you and loving yourself. Some people say, you know what? I want to put myself before others. But let me tell you about that. That's why we keep on harping on the scripture. There's no greater love than you giving your life. The Bible says that if you are willing to give your life, you shall receive your life. If you're willing to give your life, if you're willing to lose your life, because the Messiah was the perfect example of pure love, agape, unadulterated love that surpasses our human intelligence. See, that's why we always speak about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has to tell you this is what God is really conveying over to you. You just can't get this from reading the Bible. But if you don't have this precious Holy Spirit, you can't interpret our God's word. You can't. It's supernatural. This type of love that God has for us is supernatural. He has to place this inside of you because by nature, we are selfish. It's loving God. It's loving others. And it's loving yourself. But a lot of people may say, how can I love others if I don't love myself? Let's harp on this right quick. Let's shine some light. Let's pinpoint some accuracy on something right. Let's get some clarity right now. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, through the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Right now. Once you start loving God like you're supposed to, hallelujah, that's the setup. Then you shall understand how to love yourself. So it's a catch 20. It's a beautiful one now. Hallelujah. You start loving God, you're going to understand now through the Holy Spirit how to love yourself and how to love others and do what the Bible says. Now I can place others before me. Hallelujah. Like those out there with families. How many of y'all are give your life for your kids? Give your life for your spouse. Hallelujah. That's the type of impact type of action love God is talking about. Hallelujah. Willing to sacrifice to that degree. That's what it's all about, saints. So we love you so very much. We want you to really understand that God is truly love. And the title of this beautiful sermonette, hallelujah, is called, If You Don't Have Love, you really don't have anything. Keep it in your spirit. Meditate on his word day and night. Pray on how to love. Because a lot of us, we think in our own mind, with our logic mind, without asking the Holy Spirit to guide us. We may think that we're doing a justice by you know what? I'm buying these things for this person. We all show our love differently, but love is a true action word. Love is actually taking time out to pray for this person. Love is really taking out the time to ask this person. How are you today? How do you actually feel? I love you. What can I do for you? Jesus, the Messiah was the perfect example of it. He was 100% God and 100% man. He came as a bond servant. He came to serve man, his creation. He washed feet. Hallelujah. He came to serve. When you talk about love, we have to look at the, the perfect example, the epitome of love. And that's God. Hallelujah. The Messiah, Jesus. To shine that beautiful light on what he did for us. The whole human race. The Father and him, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity came up with this master plan. Hallelujah. To convey their love towards us. So now we can be with them for eternity. There's no greater love. There's no greater love than the sacrifice that Jesus did on Calvary for us. To give his life for the whole world. So now we can actually, hallelujah, come to God and get reconnected back. Hallelujah. Through the blood of Jesus. If we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And this is from somebody. I'm speaking prophetically. Hallelujah. Right now, this is for somebody that's going to hear this. 
You can give your burdens to Jesus. You can come as you are. All you have to do is invite Christ into your heart. Just ask him, Lord, I want you to be my Lord and Savior. I believe that you died and rose. I believe that you're the son of man. Hallelujah. Romans, hallelujah, 10 and 9, hallelujah. If you believe and you confess in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, you shall be saved. It's really simple as that. Because like I always say at all tomorrow's ministries, it's a settled with God. <laughs> if you just come taste and see like King David said, if you taste and see, if you come and taste and see, the Lord is good. Once you taste how good God is and you invite him, I'm telling you, you'll never go back. You'll never go back. Hallelujah. You'll never go back. So we leave you with that. God is love. Hallelujah. Title of this beautiful sermon, this message. Hallelujah. If you don't have love, you really don't have anything. Keep that. In the forefront of your mind, in your heart, meditate on God's word. We love you so very much here. Pastor Arthur, Pastor A, hallelujah, we love you. We salute KWJZ, K praise, hallelujah. We thank God for this beautiful opportunity. And we're going to pray and close us out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, we come to you just to say thank you, just to honor you once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God. For your beautiful words that you spoke to your people. Allow somebody, Father God, to come to you. That's what it's all about, Father God. If somebody truly wants to accept you as their Lord and Savior, Jesus. That's what it's all about. Your love at the end of the day. All these things that we see in the world. Somebody may hear this and they may have been questioning you and your ability. But right now, we pray that we, we, we brought some clarity that you are loving God, that you are our kind God. Hallelujah. That you are sovereign and, and you are in control and you know what you are doing. Hallelujah. Nothing get past you. Hallelujah. And at the end of the day, it's about your love. It's about your love, Father God. It's about us getting actually right with you. So we thank you. We thank you for your precious Holy Spirit to convey your beautiful word to your beautiful people. We love you so very much and we honor you and we salute you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen and amen. We love you so much here at Altamora's Ministries. God bless you and we honor you.